So Phil, this was a fantastic event today. I think you guys really uh, stepped up. I was disappointed not to see you up there with the uh, flexible screen. <laughs> <laughs> You're never going to live that down, are no, you? No, I'm never going to leave that down. Uh, <laughs> it's a Mylar screen guy. <laughs> but uh, for you, what was the most exciting part of the day? Well, I think one is the proof point of the acquisition that we've got a whole family of devices that are coming out. Uh, exciting devices, I mean, the, the, the two new phones plus the, the pad. But I think also the announcement of WebOS across the full range of... Uh, of HP devices and therefore giving a footprint to the level OS developer community that they just can't get on any other platform. Absolutely. That was I was that was my next question was gonna be exactly that. I think if there was one thing here that we weren't expecting, it was that yep. announcement of WebOS on PCs. Can you tell us a little more how that's gonna work? Well think of it as the fact that everybody you know has their PCs, their phones, pads, printers the problem is they all act as individual islands, and the human plays the role of being the human glue. What we're saying is we're going to use WebOS to act as that glue, bring a consistent experience. So, for instance, if your phone rings, you saw where the phone rings and it rang on the pad, not the phone rings, you'll be able to get it onto your PC. Same experience, being able to provide synergy across all your platforms and all your devices. Will, uh, will we see... Uh, will we see WebOS apps actually running on the PC? Mm -hmm. So developers can leverage their app that they develop exactly. on, for the smartphone. For the PCs, for their printers. Tablets. Yep. That, That's beautiful. Be really so now you get a big enough footprint for the developing community to say, wow, I, now I've got reach and, and total number of devices what I was to play my apps on. Well, that uh, one of the things that, that's really been lacking on, on the PC market is an app store. And Apple just released one on the Mac, mm -hmm. and it's been a huge success there. They, you know, each smartphone has their own app catalog. Mm -hmm. Will that web OS uh, footprint play a bit of a role as a, uh, as, a as an app delivery platform for the well, PC? Well, today for our Windows platform, we already do have a, an, a, an app store, software download store for the Windows 7 apps that you can buy from HP Software. And then we've got the Palm app. So right now, that's the, that's, that's the current two stores we've got now. Who knows? There might be some point in the future where those come together. Great. Now, how that ring, that mute switch works on that? Oh, yeah, it is fun, yeah. That was just David calling me. <laughs> we got one minute left, well, so. Well, okay. Um, I think everybody loves the touchpad. I think that was the big star of the show here yep. as far as uh, devices. And I, uh, do you have any kind of uh, idea of when, of, of what that price point's going to be? Yeah. I know what the price point's going to be, but we're not saying. <laughs> You're not saying. I didn't think <laughs> stay, you were saying. Stay tuned. Uh, there's stay a cliffhanger. Tuned. All right, well, thank you very much. Thanks. Sure thing.